What is up, YouTube? Jonas Fatsum back, playing the Binding of Isaac Afterbirth Plus, Eden streaking. We got 20 winnerinos in a row of Renos. Let's go. Who knows what we're gonna get? It's been a little while since I've actually played, to be honest. Um, the last video, I think, came out a few days ago and it hasn't been anything here. So this one's probably going up the day after I record it. I'm a little under the weather. And by a little bit, I mean quite a bit. Um, I missed a stream day because of it, so we'll see how it goes today. We got JQCV68, oh, so close. That's sweet. Number M3, Satanic Bible, The Quarter, The Lockpick, really good. I don't know why the room didn't load, but you know, whatever. I should have used that way earlier. That's fine. Satanic Bible, probably the best book of all the books real life otherwise you name it one thing i don't know um because i haven't looked it up is whether or not the book icon actually matches the actual satanic bible i have no idea i might have to look it up after this video or Maybe check in the comments below because I actually have no idea. Hopefully this computer doesn't like just die as part of this as well because it feels like it's going a little slow. The recording seems okay, but like that's taking forever. Uh, it's not bad, but let's, let's go for something. I don't remember what that does. I don't think it's that great. That's not great. Uh, yeah, it's probably worth it. Chemical Beal's really good. It's an underrated damage up. Okay, one second. What is going on with this comp hooper? Desktop window manager. You taking up too much resource. Why are you eating up 20% of the GPU? You don't do anything. You're a window manager. Who cares? playing a game why is that important i tell you man these windows 10 updates they're getting to me may as well go in here might get something fresh and tasty huh uh i think starter deck is worth it and i think this bomb is worth it it was pretty good because i'm gonna bomb here how did i miss this How did I miss Anzus? Doesn't matter. Perthro is better than Anzus anyway. Um, because we have Satanic Bible, we're absolutely going to this. Chemical Beal, by the way, um, as I said, you might have thought like, you know, you probably should have just rerolled past it, but it's actually like phenomenal. Oh, that actually worked. I'd like to save half a sword. This gives me money, right? Two swords. That's fine. I probably should have per-throwed that, but I think it was good enough. Because I would like to try to get um, a certain number of soul hearts when we hit the second floor deal. Because we don't have red hearts right now, I think it's worth it to like stack them up so that I can take at least one, maybe two deals on the next floor unless we get like an HP upgrade here. Real fortune, evil, high priestess. Oh, first floor joker. Okay, I'm just gonna bomb this really quick. And then we're gonna joker with the per throw. Okay, that's fine. Joker, per throw, boom. I have Belial, so good. Gimpy is also really good, but we can't take it. It's okay, it's okay. It's not amazing, but I have Belial, piercing shots, double damage on the next shot. I'm gonna go like this. Void is not worth it. I'm fine with that per throw play. Hashtag PP, per throw play. It's a good time. This run is going like absolutely fine. I have nothing to complain about. I'm actually just gonna like go over here really quick. Bomb time. Oh, it almost worked. Steven would be nice. I, what? I don't even know what I was doing there. Little Steven, not so great. 
But we'll take it. We will take it. That actually, yeah, that floor went real, really well. I have a Lyle, Chemical Peel, Starter Deck. I never have to see another pill again. Your boy loves that. Your boy hates pills. So he ain't taking shit for pills. Um, I'm just gonna see. Might be a secret room here. There is not. I think it's worth checking. This was not worth checking. It's okay. Eh, it pretty like it, we we're leaving we're leaving the campsite as well as we found it basically. That's what I'm gonna say there. We don't have any keys. That's one thing that I wouldn't mind like getting fixed. But um, you know, might get a couple here actually. Um, like right here. No spiders. That's gonna hurt. Oh, it didn't hurt. Okay. All right. Can't go in there yet. Tempted to use the Onzas. I don't think the second floor is really a great place to use it. Just because they're they're typically not big floors. We're in kind of like a pretty good spot right now for everything that we need. Anyway, Iabalal's coming through in the clutch here. Oh, baby. A chemical peeled Iabalal is not just the name of Tool's new album coming in 2019, but it's also kind of a good time in this game. Might be able to get the item room with bombs. Never mind. Never mind. Uh, it was, where was it brought up? I think Penta brought it up in, I believe it was either his Discord or my Discord. Doesn't matter. Uh, I'm talking about Tool, the band. I'm not actually like a big Tool fan um, myself. And it was like around like ranking, I think it was in his, around like ranking the Tool albums and they do have a new one coming out. Uh, it's one of those bands that like, they don't put out a lot of, a lot of music. Like I think they got like what, four or five uh, records or something like that. But the stuff that they produce is actually like top notch to be fair. And it's, it's like very experimental. Yeah, I gonna get hit there. It's okay. Probably should have went to the shop first to try to buy a battery. Our damage is actually not that good. 3.54. If it weren't for Eye of Belial, we would be probably in a tough spot. That was a weird dodge. Box could be good. Let's see. Sun. To a demons. Actually, you know what? I'm just gonna take this and pop it now. Krampus is actually fine. Totally fine right now. I'm just gonna pop the tower. It sorta worked. It it sorta worked. Lump of coal is exactly what I was looking for from this fight. Two of spades. I'm just gonna pop it because I want to take the sun. Not the most ideal usage there. This, this, this run's got good stuff going. It's got good stuff going. Um, well, there's our secret room. Why is a secret room right there? Well, shit, we would have had six keys if we did this differently. Oh, God. Spiky blocks. So, yeah, no, like, so I'm definitely down with something and it's not with the sickness. Um, from Disturbed, I want to say? Disturbed, is that right? Yeah, it's definitely Disturbed. Muse, okay, here's a little off topic, sort of. Uh, first of all, let me finish the sick statement. I am definitely under the weather. Definitely caught something. I don't really know from where, and that kind of makes it tough. I work in a pretty big office building, and uh, there's a lot of people, there's a few hundred people that work in the office, so it's, it's not that unheard of. Uh, I do get the flu shot every year. I received the flu shot last week, week before last, something like that. So, you know, the immune system is 
is doing its thing as it should but at the same point like i like we had an agreement flu shot it was like i am going to get stabbed and you're gonna make it so that i don't get sick and before you comment about flu shots first of all if you don't get them what's wrong with you secondly don't come at me being like look that's not how they work of course there's a like the potential you can get sick even after having them blah 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 it saves you from influenza influenza is not the typical quote unquote flu that people talk about day to day if you actually had influenza you would know it because it's actually like really serious and i, I get that but at the same point we had an agreement nurse that came to the office that was very nice that gave me a lollipop after I received my flu shot and held my hand through the process because I'm a big baby. We had an agreement that I did, did, oh sorry, that I did not need to get sick. I'm immune. And now I'm dealing with it. I'm only, this happened just by the way. I have what's referred to as possibly the man cold which, you know, kind of sucks. Ooh, is this a double tinted rock? No. I don't even know why I bought it. I'm going to take it because I think it's actually going to help. All of our stats are shit. Except range. So this should... It took damage down? What have I done? All right, well, this is a Libra run. Tier rate up, damage down. Wow. Wow, 3.0 points of damage points, points. But we now have a starting stat of a tier rate, so that's good. We also still have um, Satanic Bibble, which is really good, which I just kind of ignored at the beginning of the conversation of this video. Wow. About whether or not it's accurate, and that's actually what it looks like. I did not mean to take red candle. I'm very tempted. I think I'm gonna like try mom's box. <gasps> Curved horn mom's box is a crazy good upgrade for everything. Cause, okay, let me see something. Yeah, yeah, we kind of need to do this. So now bomb, I kind of want to see if we can get like a deep pockets or not uh, da, da. what's the, the thingy that uh, you can hold two trinkets with I don't know what it's called we can also just buy soul hearts too if needed okay champions belt another all stats up don't mind if I do this run is now coming together blank card would be good I'm not gonna take it grab this and the reason i'm not is because like mom's box curved horn is a crazy crazy good combination i feel bad about taking libra because we would actually have what like it's a four damage it'd be like 7.5 damage right now actually more because we'd have uh champion's belt but you win some you lose some it's all good we're still in an amazing spot, I think, now after that shop. Oddly enough, I would have never pictured getting like curved horn from mom's box of trinkets. It's another all stats up, tier rate down. We're looking good, boys. This run is going good. I'm feeling it. I'm feeling it. Even though it feels like my computer is slowly getting slower, if that makes sense. It doesn't really, but it's okay. You know, because we have like two, two spots for cards, there's actually like no reason to pop Wheel of Fortune right now. Could just be, you know, extra item in half an hour. Yeah, we'll try this. I am still gonna like see if we can find a better trinket because if we get like the cancer trinket or cracked crown 
I actually think that that's probably a more substantial increase because it's not a single stat. Well, cancer is a single stat, but you know what I mean. Don't come at me with facts and stats, all right? I got my gut feels. I know how stats work. Anecdotal information and data is more important than factual. That's what I was taught, and that's what I'm sticking with. Gut feel decisions are better than factual decisions. 100%. It's never failed anybody ever. That's why when you go to court, the man in the robe, AKA the judge, doesn't use facts. People present things and then he just goes, huh, well, you know, my gut tells me that this person is innocent. So, it, yep, it's, it's all good. Although, to be honest, I don't know if that happens or not. Like, I'm making it in joke, and I would hope that, like, a judge is technically, like, the most logical thinkers in society. That's a phrase. Where, like, no matter what you say, you're like, all right, you can make a claim, but unless you can prove it, psh, we ain't believing it. But I'm pretty sure that there are judges out there that exist that definitely do not abide by that and just like go by gut feel i don't know i don't even know what hit me there i don't really care yeah we'll we'll grab this i'm gonna grab this and then we're gonna go we're gonna go <clears throat> excuse me oh it's a sore throat coming in one thing i learned about having a cold <clears throat> Is that like, when you don't have a cold, you don't appreciate how nice it is to like have the ability to breathe through your nose. You just like take it for granted. So like when I'm done with this, I'm definitely gonna be like, nose, I appreciate you. I don't know how one appreciates their nose, but I'm going to try. I was thinking like, you know, I'll buy that, um, that nose cleansing spray. The Dristan, I think it's called, that also helps you with a cold. So maybe it's not a good idea taking it first, but... I think it's Dristan. Is it? I don't know. Uh, yes. All stats up for all the money we get. Sign me up. Yeah, I like that. Maybe eventually get a tears upgrade from that. Man, if we didn't take Libra on this, we would be very overpowered. Can I go get like a nose massage? Is that a thing? I'm just gonna pop this. Now that we have um, money equals power, let's try to build up the money. I don't think we need to buy anything from the shop anytime soon or like the next shops. So probably gonna be okay for, oh yeah. Forgot you guys move both ways. Just gonna try something here. I got a gut feel. Told you. Uh, this could be a secret room. It's not. Don't get hit twice in this room. Classic Isaac room going on here. So this one is a speed upgrade. Point 0.5 up. Tier rate went down. Yeah, this is definitely better. Okay. We are going to check the curse room. Hello. Well, yes. Well, yes. And no, bad boy. That is an amazing devil deal. I would really like to see us not get the deal here. Also, the fallen paw potentially like... Uh, amazing. I thought I could dodge all that. Duality, huh? Yeah, I'll take it. Well, of course I'm gonna take it. Like, what else am I gonna do? But, you know what I mean? Uh, you know what would be a nice trinket to get from mom's box of trinkets would be, um, Lucky Rock. So that I can use some of the bombs, uh, to... 
get a lot of money. I don't know why that was so difficult to say. But yeah, this run is like all sorts of goodness right now. Excuse me? You exploded, huh? Stop doing this right near the door. That is a dumb move. Gives us cards. Alges, Hongdemon. Not bad. We'll take Alges. I do want to see if there's anything in here. I think this is worth it. Because we're going to clear these guys pretty quick. Get some nice stuff going. IV bag. If only I had red hearts. A lot of trinkets showing up on this run. I can't help but notice. Like, not just because we have mom's box of trinkets, but like just in general. Wow. Wow. Like three cents for all these things. Ivy bag is tempting. Nothing I can do with it right now. Uh, if it was a blood bag, it'd be different. But it is not. By the way, I'm in like no rush on this one to make it to boss rush. I forgot you fire. I don't know why I didn't think you fired anything. All right, now we gotta be like a little cautious because I am throwing away HP like too much. And I would really prefer to not lose this one because it's very powerful now. Thank you. Yeah, I'll spend a bomb here. I'll spend a bomb here. Not good. Another trinket, though. I wonder, like, legit question. Oh, I didn't think you'd fire twice. Oh, my God, we have two HP. What are we doing? Um, Does mom's box of trinkets increase the amount of trinkets you find at all? Out of curiosity? Or that can drop? Like, does the trinket drop rate go up? Is that a thing? I don't know if it's a thing. Feels like it's probably a thing. I'm just gonna play like a little cautious at the moment. Dumping Satanic Bible might have been a short-sighted decision. I kind of fall down that trap all the time where I'm like, I got lots of HP right now. Why would I need any more ever again? Let's see what's in this. Not worth it. But as long as we pit play like relatively decent, we should be okay. In fact, I'm just going to buy this just in case, even though I know that that's a small damage downgrade. Not really enough. Oh, that, oh, the trinket purse is a good pickup if we can make that happen. I don't think we're going to. Unless there's a lot of money here. We probably want to do the other floors or the other rooms on the floor to see if we can get like to 15 cents because that could actually be very good Trinket purse and box of trinkets. It's a great combo You spawned right on top of me. Oh my god almost again. That seems fair it Seems fair Okay. Okay. The idea of mom's box of trinkets is slowly fading and we may end up having to buy some hearts, some soul hearts, but we're not there yet. Couple more rooms. You know what there's been like a serious lack of on this run is like tinted rocks just in general. Like I think we've seen one and I could have like been missing like a bunch of them to be fair, but like Could I get a tinted rock that would be kind of nice Okay 
algae's on this yeah like an arcade would also be nice because then we can use the algae's rune to get like a ton of money don't think that's gonna happen a temperance card could exist unlikely oh wait okay 2.8 what damage up okay so this is like a hundred percent better 150 percent better now is there there's an iv bag i can't use iv bag with um algaes thinking through I would love to be able to take both. I think I have to try this to see if it is a temperance. Emperor's actually pretty good, but I'm just not interested. Ah, uh, okay, okay, okay. Let me think, let me think, let me think. We still haven't seen the uh, super secret room, which I think is gonna be just over here. I really don't wanna leave curved horn. It's not there. Like, that seems, in my brain, I'm like, hey, that's a really bad idea. Even though it's, argu like, it's not arguably, it is not the better choice in this scenario. Could be here, could be here. What the hell? It wasn't up top there. I bet you it's, like, right beside the shop. Don't step on any of that. I don't think we're gonna like unless we can't find it's not gonna be either one of these did I check over here I can't know did I I don't know if I did I didn't there's red hearts man dark bomb would be nice all right all right one more one more one more just check the shop there's nothing in the shop we just move on and we're we're okay with it uh, i don't think we're taking it uh you know what don't don't do that yet there might be uh what the hell's the name of that item uh uh pageant boy from the boss we're on depths one okay no problem brownie with uh, current setup is actually like not that bad because I Belial kinda is gonna help quite a bit. And we're just gonna like stay far away from you. Did not get it, but the HP is nice. Ah, uh, disappointing. All right, nothing we can do. No sense crying over spilled milk. Let's go. If anything, we got red hearts for the next deal. Although, to be honest, it might be worth uh, getting an angel deal on this floor. I'm probably going to pop on just on the next floor, either the womb one or two. Just because I don't really need it here. I got kind of lucky there. I heard a card. I heard a card. The card gave me a cow. Now, there there was one further play that we could have done on that other floor that I'm just realizing now. Um, we could have used our one red heart with the IV bag that existed. Hmm. Number one is really good, right? Like crazy good? A 15 damage up. Oh my god! <laughs> uh, you know what? Why did I bomb that? I'm not opening that. Are you crazy? <laughs> oh my freaking Jesus Christ. Um, yeah, so who would have thought that number one, uh, the Cancer Trinket and Libra is like saving the day i am gonna take this i am gonna go this way 
holy god it's crazy that's always a magician card i don't care this is a crazy powerful run we might go back to that double key room but to be honest like i'm not re-rolling this like ever like we literally don't need like another item guy oh, walked on the spike bone hearts nice uh i'm just gonna do the rest of the floor here so if we drop the cancer trinket like i think we lose like an absolute like maddening amount of stuff by the way like i think we have the perfect combo we have the perfect combination of items which we i was talking about this with some, some friends of mine uh a while ago actually it's it's been too long since this has come up what would be your favorite fast food combination so a typical fast food um combo is like you know you got your main you got a side possibly two sides and then i'm not going to do that because i don't want to lose anything so just hear me out and then it's dessert usually so like you'll, you'll have like uh let's take mcdonald's for an example you get like a big mac with french fries a pop and possibly like an apple pie or two after a four four is interesting four is would reroll the shop let's reroll the shop um and so like the the thought exercise on this one is if you could take items from other places so you can have say a burger from mcdonald's we should check this card two of diamonds two of diamonds um what else was in here nothing so you can have like a burger from mcdonald's fries from a and w a milkshake from in and out and like dessert from subway why am i going this way this is not the boss I'm getting distracted now i'm not saying that like that would be my combo but that's an example of like what your favorite combo would be now i am a little bit different on this being a vegetarian my uh list is going to be like a lot different i don't eat meat we have one red heart it might be worth coming in here we're just gonna try dark bomb and the mark huh I think we can I don't think we need the mark I just straight up don't think we need it um being a vegetarian so here's the thing like what I normally buy at like a I'm just gonna pop this like right away yeah I don't care about the mini boss like at all um the typical McDonald's order for me is actually like a grilled cheese it's on their kids menu so I feel like a total goober every single time I order it. I don't have any bombs. But it's pretty much the only thing I can eat there. And the fries. I'm going to eat the fries. Um, usually, I've actually switched from having uh, pop to or soda, as some people call it. Some crazy people. Excuse me. Ooh, Perthro's nice. Um, I've switched from pop to water in my typical. I actually, like, am enjoying the taste of water. And it's going to sound, like, so West Coast. It's crazy, and I'm fully aware of it. But um, I actually, like, have been enjoying the taste of water lately. Like, just, like, straight cold. And, like, really, really cold water. Yeah, I'm going to take old bandage just because I want to make sure that we live. But I don't know if I would put that in like 
the ideal ideal combo so i'm trying to think of like what i actually probably would say that if i'm going like sandwich let's say sandwich fries drink and dessert is the combo or like a, a, a variation of you mix out a potato or a baked potato from arby's or harvey's that's fine you can take your baked potatoes or uh, wendy's wendy's is the one that does a baked potato i'm okay with that because that is still a side if you say that you want the coleslaw from kfc unsubscribe to my channel now just like never talk to me again because their coleslaw is actually the devil it's actually like horrendous you should feel bad if you enjoy it i hate this room so much any more hands i hate the ghosts i hate the hands um anyway 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 before i get utterly distracted again which is going to happen like just be aware our range is so good okay i would have to say for me the best sandwich fast food sandwich is probably just like this straight veggie sandwich from subway so like hook me up with a foot long from subway it's interesting but i can't and then i still probably got to give it up to mcdonald's french fries i think that those are still i should not have taken that still like probably the best french fries that you can get like quickly and i know what you're gonna say like hey have you ever had new york fries and i'm gonna say i have they're good but they're not like amazing my phone what's going on surveys about to expire in google surveys i need that free google money i don't have any bombs okay let's just go in here if I get hit once, I might actually end up using the Algis rune just because I want to maintain the bone heart, but I think we're probably going to be okay. Um, so yeah, anyway, veggie sandwich, foot long on, I think they have like Parmesan oregano bread and it is very delicious. That is probably the sandwich of choice foot long because why not bigger the better baby i get the sandwich i get every vegetable that they got none of these are worth it that is a tears upgrade but i don't think it's a major tears upgrade you know what let's take it never mind i'm a moron per throw quad shot it's gonna it's a total damage downgrade huh yeah let's try it minus 20 damage oh no what have i done why was that 20 down oh my god what just happened Quad shot. I need to finish my friggin' choice selection before we go. Oh my god, we would have finished this room like three times over if we didn't screw ourselves with the stupid ass quad shot. I knew it was gonna be a damage downgrade. I did not expect it to take like 80% of our damage away. Why was that an all stats downgrade? Can somebody explain to me why? Just pop algae right now. Save that bone heart. I literally have no idea. Oh, that was close. Uh, anyway, okay. Veggie sandwich from Subway. Sandwich of choice. That was terrible. 
I probably should have got hit by creep there. Um, French fries from McDonald's. The drink of choice, it's, it's a little localized, but I'm going to throw this out here. It's going to be a milkshake from Triple O Burgers in British Columbia. They make the best milkshakes bar none. If I'm going like dream fast food combo, that's what I'm going with. There's three of you in this room, is there not? Never mind. Um, and then dessert. Dessert's always like a finicky one. I never get desserts when I go for a fast food like lunch or afternoon snack or late, late, late drunken snack like 3 a.m. McDonald's after going to the pub, you know, that kind of stuff or karaoke. Just really hoping for like Red Heart or something. All right, well, let's go try to win. Um, but yeah, so dessert for me is like less important than like the main food that exists. That was terrible. But if I had to say dessert, it's probably gonna be like a Wendy's Frosty. So let's recap, veggie sandwich from Subway with everything on it. Extra pickles, extra jalapeno and banana peppers with the sauces. I forgot to mention the sauces. Um, a combination of tzatziki and buffalo, like Frank's Red Hot and tzatziki. That is the sandwich choice. I'm going to finish this friggin' order. Just you wait. Pair that with McDonald's french fries, probably like a medium because they're quite salty. To be honest, a bottle of water from anywhere, doesn't matter, I'm not, I'm not picky. I'm even fine with like ice cold tap water. And then, what was the, the, the drink? Oh, a, uh, a vanilla milkshake from Triple O's in British Columbia with a dessert of a Frosty from Wendy's. That is the perfect fast food Freaking dining experience right there. That is a five course meal with four courses that you can get at least in British Columbia or the West Coast of the US. I don't know how far away Triple O's has become. Uh, leave your comments with what your favorite fast food meal is. I'm gonna go out and I'm gonna buy all this and I'm gonna come back for the next Isaac Afterbirth Plus. That's 21 wins in a row, boys, even with the dumb quad shot stuff at the end. Thank you so much for tuning in. If you like what you saw, feel free to leave me a like and a sub. It means the world to me. I can also be found on Twitch at twitch.tv slash Jonas Fats, where I stream Mondays, Wednesdays, and Thursdays. I can also be found on Twitter and Instagram at Jonas Fats. And thank you so much for tuning in. Peace out.